Welcome to the instructional video for your new CC student email. I'm going to tell you how to access it for the first time. First of all, you'll need to know your student ID number because the last seven digits of this number are used to form your own personal CC student email. Your default password is your date of birth, but it's important to note for security reasons the first letter of your month is lowercase, followed by the next two letters in uppercase. As you can see, day, month, year. In order to access your new CC email, please go to outlook.office.com where you can sign in by inputting your new CC email followed by your default password. Make sure you enter the date of birth with the day followed by lowercase first letter of your month followed by uppercase and then the year. Don't save this password because you're going to immediately be prompted to change your password to your own personal password. Make sure you make it difficult to crack by adding a mix of upper and lower case letters as well as numbers and or symbols. Feel free to sign in and save this if you're working from your own personal computer. Be patient as Outlook loads. You'll be happy when it finally does. Here you'll be able to see the courses in which you're registered as well as some instructions if you haven't used Outlook before. Skip ahead as you wish. Not only will you be able to access your new email, but you'll also be able to see all the apps included in the complete Outlook suite. To check out which apps are included, go to the top left hand corner and click on the symbol to the left of the Outlook word. Feel free to use any of these apps for your personal use or for your schoolwork. In addition to Excel and Word and even Microsoft Teams, if you click on more apps you'll see all of the apps that you'll be able to access. Your instructors may also use some of them in some of their courses. Hope you found this video helpful and have a great semester.